So today I'm gonna to show you the best way to find amazing graphics on Creative Fabrica and then how you can edit those using Canva. And I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that. Now I'm the kind of person that loves to keep it simple. So if you're the kind of person that enjoys overcomplicating things, you're not gonna like my style and I'm okay with that. And if you're new here, I'm Angie. I've been selling online full-time since 2010 and specifically on the Etsy platform since 2000. 19 and over the last decade or more I have actually helped thousands of individuals to make money online many to quit their jobs and we do it in the most simple way possible with simple duplicatable systems and processes and print on demand is definitely one of those simple systems. And as you go with your listing, you are creating lots of many passive income machines. Once you make one listing on Etsy, it's going to be able to generate you income over and over and over again for years to come. So I love anything where you can do the work once and continue getting paid. So if that sounds good to you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and tune in every single week for a brand new video on how how to make money the simple way. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started on editing these graphics. All right, so before I head over to Creative Fabrica, the best way to not get sidetracked is to have something in mind for your design, some kind of inspiration. So today we are using this MILF Man I Love Frogs design as our inspiration, and this design is doing an estimated monthly revenue of $10,520 per month. And so we never ever want to uh, copy another store, but we're going to simply use it for inspiration. So when I get over to Creative Fabrica, the easiest way to search is by using keywords of whatever you're looking for in the search bar here. I will show you a second way to search if you don't really have anything in mind, but in my opinion, the way I'm gonna show you first is the best way. Um, but all of the graphics that I'm gonna show you today, you can use with a commercial license, and that includes full print-on-demand license. So there will be no concern about using this in your POD business. And linked below, I do have a free trial for you to test it out. And there's an option for a really good deal for the year if you think you're going to uh, commit yourself to this and use it a bunch. I highly recommend the year. So let's go ahead and type in frog and mushroom and go ahead and hit search. I'm going to scroll down the left hand side and click on print on demand. So that is going to sort it so that all of the images that show up now are going to have the full POD license. So you can put that on t-shirts, mugs, you can put it on um, any products that you're going to sell on Etsy. I think this one looks super cute. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this. So we can see this design here and an example of what it would look like on say a phone case or a t-shirt. And then over here you can see the license details, commercial and full POD usage allowed. So when a listing says full print on demand usage, you can create and upload designs to POD sites that are the same or similar to the original design that you download. You can use fonts to create quotes sentences, word art, etc., and upload those designs to POD sites. You can generate unlimited sales via POD sites and ship valid POD products worldwide. So I'm going to go ahead and download this for a t-shirt design. And then we're going to take it over into Canva and easily add to this and make it unique to us. And so when you download this, it is gonna be in a zip file. I just double click on it and drag the PNG image to my desktop so then I can upload it to Canva. Now, once in Canva, we can do a custom size and we can do this 5,000 pixels by 5,000 pixels and click create new design. This is gonna pull up a template for our design that we will be able to print onto t-shirts. I went ahead and uploaded into the dashboard here this design that I downloaded from Creative Fabrica. Now I'm just going to shrink this down just a bit so we can add some text. 
So I uploaded it right here and I'm clicking on text right here. We're going to go ahead and add a headline. We're just going to say move this down here and type MILF. And then I'm going to change the font and we're going to do the nectarine font, which is available in Canva. And then we can go ahead and make this just a bit bigger and change the color so that it goes along with the photo color here. So we will click on this color box and it's going to pull up all of these colors right here. And we can change this to match the color scheme that we have going on here. And if we need to, we can go ahead and space out these letters a bit more. And then let's go ahead and add some extra text. Man, I love frogs. And we can put a bit of an effect on it and arch it, but not quite that much. So drag that out a little. And then I'm going to go ahead and change this font to a nectarine as well. And there we go. We have a very simple graphic that now we have made it our own. We've added some words. And I'm also going to show you a second design that we can do. And another way to search is just to click right here on POD. And this is going to allow you to search the library of graphics that have the full POD license. And you can click right here to view all 591,000 graphics. So I'm going to go ahead and click this. And then as you scroll through here, you can look and see what kind of design style that you like. For example, if you like this design style, you can click through to this artist called Lazy Cat and look at their entire portfolio and search their work for exactly what you're looking for. And I'm going to go ahead and click on this one, Hello Magic. And so now I have an entire vibe from one designer and I can look through all of their work and, you know, maybe they could be my designer for my store and keep a really good cohesive vibe. And so as you can see, they have a lot of different frog stuff here. So let's go ahead and find one that we like. How about this one? And we can see that this has commercial and full POD usage allowed. So let's go ahead and download that. Now back over on Canva, we can easily edit this and I don't want to use the words, it's going to be okay. So I could either crop that out if it works, but I might be cutting off some of the frog's feet there. So what I'm going to do now is use the erase tool. And you can do that by clicking edit image at the top left. And then we're going to select a background remover. And then erase. So now we can just come in here with the eraser and just get rid of all of these words. So we can now alter this graphic and make it say what we want it to say. So once everything is erased, then you just hit done at the top here and then apply right here. And if we wanted to, we could also change the color scheme of the frog with one of these different sections, but I quite like the color that it is. So I'm going to leave that. And so let's go ahead and add some text to this one as well and make this one a bit bigger. And we're going to change the font and this time I'm going to use a font that I downloaded from Creative Fabrica. So you could just type in peace and love font right here in the search bar and you'll be able to pull up this font and download it. And as you can see, this has commercial usage allowed. I have already downloaded this, so let's pop back over to Canva. And right here, when you're on the text box, you can see font and you click edit. And this is where you can go ahead and upload that uh, peace and love font to your Canva template here. Go ahead and select it from the drop down menu. And we're going to select peace and love. And the same with this one. So let's go ahead and add an effect to this. And we can just click the curve and we can adjust the curve to our liking. And then if we need to, we can adjust the spacing of, or not the line spacing, but actually we want to do the letter spacing. Make sure this is all centered up. And then I'm going to change the color of the font. And so as you can see here, it pulls up the color that goes along with this frog photo. So we're gonna change that and that. And to make this a little bit easier to read, I'm going to duplicate that and then add an outline. 
and change the color. So we can change the color like this or to something like that. And the same down here, duplicate, effect, hollow, and then change the color. So as you can see, these are super easy to edit and make uniquely yours. And then here is what they look like on some t-shirts. Go ahead and lower this transparency just a bit. Super cute, very, very easy. I am not a skilled graphic designer whatsoever, um, but these are designs that people will purchase on Etsy. So if you haven't already, you can access my link down below and sign up for free. This is one of the only places that you can access Creative Fabrica for free, and that is for your first 10 downloads or your first month, whichever ends first. And then you can decide what would work best for you. The yearly plan is such a great deal at $4.99 a month. So choose what works best for you. And I can't wait to hear about all of the cool things that you're making with Creative Fabrica. So I hope you're all set with all of the different ways that you can edit the Creative Fabrica graphics. And now directly below this video are going to be all of my best resources, including my free Etsy bootcamp that will walk you through over the next seven days, setting up your very own profitable print on demand business. So don't forget to sign up. I'll see you in the bootcamp. And I'm also going to link for you here, my full playlist on how to make money with print on demand. So make an amazing day and I'll see you in the next video.